My treasure? Is that you? As much as I'm glad you're taking advantage of all that my castle has to offer, what in the name of the great mage are you doing in the library at this hour of the night? <laughs> well, I had assumed that much, given the large stack of books next to you. But surely it could have waited until morning? Why must you sit here in the dark, straining to try and read by candlelight? It's none of my business. Ah, now, that's where you're wrong. When it's my little treasure involved, of course it's my business. Are you all right, my dear? Is something troubling you? Why should I care? My dear, you wound me. Despite what you think of me, I don't wish to see you come to harm. My servants tell me you haven't opened the door to them in days. The trays of food they've left for you have come back half-eaten, at best. And those shadows under your eyes, as deep and dark as the midnight sky, don't tell me you've been doing this every night. Oh, oh, there now. It's all right. Here, why don't you give me that candle? As much as I'm sure that you'd like to see this place burn, these books have been my only companions for some time. Surely even you would agree, they don't deserve that. Just let me. Good. Now then, my treasure, what's troubling you? What's causing those beautiful eyes to cloud with tears? I won't let you be until you tell me what's wrong. What kind of a host would I be to let you suffer on your own? Please, my dear, tell me what's... Hmm? You don't want to hurt me. Is this about what happened the other day? Ah... I see. Well, rest assured, my dear, I am perfectly fine. A few salves for the bruises, and I was back to normal. As unexpected as the incident was, I admit, perhaps I shouldn't have been quite so hard on you. You needn't be distressed on my account. I don't understand. Then what? You... you can't control it. No. You don't mean to tell me you've been suppressing it? For how long? Your whole life? Gods, my dear! I am so sorry. I can't imagine. Wait, your... your father... Did he know? I see. I can hardly blame you for hiding it from him. And yet, you still risked everything to get him a cure. That devil. He doesn't deserve you, my dear. He never did. What? You were planning to change the laws? Once you ascended the throne, you would have allowed magic back to the kingdom? I, uh, I see. Well, ah, uh, that would be a, a, a very kind gesture. Or it would have been, I suppose. Now that you'll be spending your life here with me instead. Ah. So that's why you're here, burning the midnight oil, as it were. You're trying to find a way to control your magic. But, my dear, you can't simply control it. Magic isn't meant to be suppressed. It's meant to be used. As long as you lock it away, 
It's simply going to keep building until finally, with nowhere left to go, it bursts out like a racehorse at the gate. Trust me, I should know. You need to embrace it. Stop pushing it away. Once you do that, you can learn to work with it. Contrary to what you've been led to believe, magic can become your partner, not your enemy. How? Well, it's a difficult thing to learn on your own, I'm afraid. Even with access to all the greatest magical tomes in existence. However, if you wish... Perhaps I could teach you? I don't mean to brag, but you are in the presence of one of the greatest magical prodigies in the kingdom. Though, I suppose there's not much competition for the title anymore, given how so few of us are left. But, oh well. In any case, they don't call me the Sorcerer of Legend for nothing, so... What? Nonsense, of course they do. Really? Uh, well, what then? If they don't call me that, then what do they call me? Uh, actually, no. Don't answer that. The point is, I didn't become feared throughout the kingdom for nothing. So if you'd like to learn how to use your magic, I'd be happy to teach you. I understand why you'd be wary, but I swear on the gods and fiends. I wouldn't try to corrupt your mind, or bend it to my will, or whatever those ignorant people claim that I do. As much as I despise your father, this is about you, my dear. Well, what do you say? You would? Truly? Wonderful. <clears throat> yes, wonderful indeed. I'll be glad for the chance to banish that frown from your face. My jewel deserves nothing but happiness, after all. With my tutelage, soon you'll be shining more brilliantly than ever. We'll start tomorrow. In the meantime, my dear, I think you are long overdue for some sleep. I'll have the servants bring you up some warm tea. No, no, it won't be laced with some secret potion, I promise. Just some tea. I find it helps quiet my mind on nights when sleep seems out of reach. Hmm? I, uh, you're welcome. Anything for you, my dear. <clears throat> well then, I suppose I should retire to sweet dreams, my treasure. I look forward to our lessons. <laughs>